Welcome to Grid Edge World Forum. I'm here with Brad Williams, Vice President of Energy Strategy for Oracle Utilities. Welcome, Brad. Thank you, glad to be here. All right, we're here to just talk about a couple of things that are facing the utility industry and get Oracle's viewpoint on that. And one of the first things I wanted to ask is, how is Oracle adapting its view of the evolving utility industry? And in part, what new opportunities do you see as it relates to the evolving customer experience? Excellent questions, because we see a key part of our go-forward strategy starts with the customer, and that's where a lot of the activity is on edge of the grid, is on the customer energy technologies and other sensors and stuff at the edge of the grid. And so we think that relationship with a customer is key to the grid operations and being able to model and manage these customer energy resources. So we're investing a lot in the ability to provide life cycle management of energy resources that the customer owns, like through right. a new connect process. The customer calls, right. say, I want to connect my photovoltaics, that we have a process. Part of our core business, not a one-off uh, behind the scenes thing that happens, part of our core business leveraging that information to populate the data models for operations and planning. And then of course, or Oracle just acquired Opower, right. which is another key part of our strategy is that customer interaction, not only for energy efficiency, demand response program, but as a grid side resource, engaging the customer to enable them to leverage that resource for grid operations. Great, and, and as you mentioned grid operations, how do you really marry the kind of competing needs of increasing customer engagement and choice in their uh, energy consumption with the reliability of the grid, and how does Oracle Utilities help utilities kind of figure out that right mix there? Yeah, so I, I see that, that the customer actually needs to be part of that mix. That customer energy resource is a capacity that the utility should be leveraging as a grid side resource. And in the, in the past, traditional, I, I come from a distribution engineering background, power system engineering background, where uh, reliability meant we added uh, redundant infrastructure, new wires, new lines. If there was an outage, we had another way to deal with it. Right. Well, now utilities need to start to manage the uh, consumer energy resource as a grid side resource for reliability and, and actually do uh, reliability planning in the same way we do grid operational planning. Uh, so we actually use that resource to say, this is the level of reliability we expect, what we are designing towards, and we are going to leverage whatever energy resources at the customer, or if we need to add like um, community solar or community storage as part of that mix to supplement what the customers have, but we're going to look at what is the overall least cost option by leveraging the data to drive operational performance. And on that note, why has data and analytics been such a challenge for utilities? I mean, particularly for utilities who already have AMI deployments, there's no shortage of data, yet there still seems to be kind of avoiding the industry and really figuring out how to use that data intelligently. Because I think today it's still kind of a one-off process. They have some analysts that are in the side, off to the side, mining the data, looking for a value proposition, and then two weeks later they have produced these, nice, these, these cool charts and graphs to say, hey, if we did this and this, we might be able to do that. Well, by that time it's too late. It's like utilities need to be thinking of how do we change our business process. So this is the business transformation or digitization, leveraging right. the data to drive our business processes that will leverage the data up front, not, not off the side, not af after the fact, but all of our core processes that are leveraging the data for everything that we do, from uh, communicating with the customer, to planning the grid, to operating and maintenance and all, those, all, the, all, all aspects of, of utility operation. Great. And how is Oracle helping utilities be more resourceful overall? Well, I, I think it's by providing end-to-end -end solutions around their core business and how, how to leverage the data. And you don't have to make big investments in IT infrastructure to do it because we've got a bunch of uh, new offerings around cloud. You don't have to have a big uh, infrastructure investment. You can use a cloud offering which give you immediate value by starting to mine your data through a cloud service and tie it back into your core process like work management, asset management, operations management, those types of things. It's the, the analytics, the digitization of leveraging that data can be done separately and you can even do that like as a um, initial uh, proof of concept to say, let's figure out how this will work for us and let's, let's, let's demonstrate this. And then over time, you can add your own if you want to own your own uh, systems, we can do it that way as well. Great, well we look forward to seeing all the innovation that comes out of Oracle over the next year and we thank you for your time, Brad. Great, glad to be here, thanks a lot. Thank you.